Sometime this week, I was on Facebook. Obviously, I practically live on social media. It's part of my everyday life, part of my everyday job. I was just browsing through Facebook, and I see a post by Chris Perlow. Everybody should know who Chris Perlow is. I'll link him below in case you don't. Check him out. Cool guy. Awesome content. And he was looking to this woman named Ashley Escada. Escada? Escada? I'm sorry, Ashley. I'm probably totally butchering your name. Either way, she looks familiar. I don't really follow her content, but I've definitely seen her before. But she has over 9,000 followers, so she's definitely doing something right. She does all this um, tech blog content, so I respect her already. Anyway, Chris linked to a Google Plus post from Ashley reading this. Now sit back, relax. I'm going to take a minute to read through this. When I post things like that Locker Room article, I don't think you guys understand my intent. I want to be clear on this. Last week, I ordered an iPhone 5 as a second line, and I was ridiculed, berated, called an eye whore, told they hoped for my death, or threatened me with bodily harm over a cell phone. I am not attending the Android barbecue this year because of it, which bums me out because I kind of wanted to see my friends there, but I'm not going to risk being assaulted because I work in technology. It shocks and upsets me that a community I've always championed would treat a member of it so cruelly. The fact of the matter is this. When I bought my HTC Evo LTE, or my Samsung Galaxy S2, or my Evo 4G, or my Samsung Galaxy S3, or my Nexus 7, or my Galaxy Tab 10.1, mouthful there, I didn't get a single comment from the iOS community with those kinds of comments. No Apple genius said, you are a traitor, or you're the dumbest bitch ever. It was radio silence. Apple fanboys might be smug, or whatever else you might want to call them, but the one thing they aren't are the kinds of people who are sending me messages like the ones I've gotten in the past week. As much as anyone out there might read this post and think I didn't do those things, so I have no responsibility to stop others from doing so, I've seen it encouraged and amplified to the point of insanity. Civil discourse is great, criticism is great, sociopathy, so, I always have problems with the word, don't laugh at me. Over some circuit boards and tiny screens is not great. And no, I'm not opening comments on this because I don't feel like being verbally abused by some of you today. Excellent post, Ashley. I'm totally on your side on this. But before I jump into my comments, let me jump off. Jump off. Let me turn off my air because it's kind of a background distraction for you guys. You know, I've been here for almost three months now and I still forget to turn off my air. So I just destroyed the tripod. Anyway, again, Ashley, excellent post. Well, first of all, I should say... Ashley doesn't even know I exist. I just found out about her through Chris Perlow, and I don't care if this is a woman or a man or a dog saying all this. It's unacceptable. The fact of the matter is this, guys. Why are Android fanboys, and yes, I'm saying fanboys, why are Android fanboys so hateful? I don't get it. You should read the comments on my recent video of why I'm selling the Nexus 7. I gave my five personal legit reasons of why I wanted to sell a tablet at the end of the day that I didn't need. Why does it matter to Android fanboys that I'm selling it? How does it affect your life? I gave my five personal reasons. Not that I even have to justify my opinion in the first place because it is my opinion, but that's the beauty of YouTube. People have the freedom of speech and the right to respond and say whatever they want. However, unfortunately, sometimes people take advantage of freedom of speech and just act like an asshole. And yes, I'm sorry for the profanity, but I'm actually going to curse for once in this video. Not, not too much, though, because I now have younger viewers. People out there are idiots. I don't understand it. And when I say people, I mostly mean Android fanboys. Now, yes, I do realize not all Android fanboys are like this. I 100% realize this. However, guys, I gotta say, these Android fanboys, the idiotic fanboys, are making you look bad. I am proud to admit that I am sometimes a smug, biased Apple user. I have no shame in admitting that right now. I enjoy good products with good design, and I don't mind paying a little extra for that. At the end of the day, that's what I enjoy. If you don't enjoy it, who cares? Move on. But that doesn't give you the right to comment below and call me an Apple fag, or a Mac fag, or for instance, Ashley an I whore, or the dumbest bitch ever, and to give her friggin' death threats over a cell phone. Think about what you're doing. Get off your chair, Go outside and live your freaking life because obviously you are insecure and you have so much low self-esteem that you hate your own life that you have to take it out on others. I just read a uh, tweet today that 80% of Americans or 80% of the population, something like that, have, have low self-esteem, meaning they like to take their hate out on others to make themselves feel better. That's pathetic. 
And if that's the case for you, I'm sorry. I really do feel bad for you in a way that you're not as energetic and, and positive thinking as I am. But do something about it. Find something you're passionate about. Go out there and find friends. Get out of the house, get away from your computer, and just enjoy life. Because you're wasting your own time sitting behind a keyboard and just ranting away. You are. And yes, you might argue that you're not wasting your time because I'm making a video such as this, but still, can't you realize the big picture here? People who act like that are just idiots. I don't understand it. Maybe it's because I was raised in a good family and I know proper manners and proper etiquette and I know how to treat people the right way, but when somebody pisses me off, yes, I do get defensive because I strongly believe in everything that I represent. Apple products and people tore me up when I got beats as a gift. Who cares? Move on. Why does it matter what I have? People still diss me because I play Modern Warfare 3. Who gives a shit? I don't care if you like Battlefield 3. Play Battlefield 3. I'm personally not a big fan. The mechanics are sloppy. The frame rate sucks. The gameplay is fun, but it's not as smooth and polished as Modern Warfare 3. That's my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to call me an idiot or a bitch or a fag because of it. The fact of the matter is, I enjoy it. Who gives a shit what you enjoy? Okay, you know what? Ranting aside, this is what I'm trying to say. Live your life. I'll live mine. Ashley will live hers. Chris will live his. Everybody, enjoy your iPhone 5. Enjoy your Samsung Galaxy S3. Enjoy your Nokia Lumia 920 or whatever the hell it's called. I'm not honestly interested in that. I'm mainly an Apple person. I like iPhones and iPads. I like the Apple ecosystem. It's what I enjoy. And if you don't like it, then get out. Okay, so maybe you shouldn't just leave, but you should at least respect my opinion. And if you don't like something, just say, David, I respectfully disagree and this is my opinion. You don't have to go after the way I look or my choices in life or give me death threats or give Ashley death threats or anyone. It's like, think about how stupid it is. And what annoys me most is, I'm sorry, I'm going to pull the ageism card out. It's mostly 14 year old boys with nothing better to do. And then eventually when they're old enough, they'll look back on these comments and like, wow, I really acted like an asshole. And yeah, you're right. You acted like an idiot back then. Fix yourself now before it's too late. Get your image straight. Have people take you seriously. And just don't act like an idiot. Life is too short to act like an idiot. Because one of these days, you're going to be laying in your deathbed thinking and wishing that you could have done better. Seriously, guys, that is why I'm so driven in life. My ultimate motivation is to think about that. One day I will be laying in my deathbed, dying within minutes and wishing I could have done better. That's why I enjoy making so many websites and that's why I enjoy uploading controversial videos. I don't hold back because I'm afraid of what people are going to say about me. I live life to the fullest, well to the fullest in terms of my turn of the fullest. I still want to do a bunch of things in life obviously in terms of travel to Japan and Paris and you know, the typical life dream stuff. But the point is, I'm doing what I enjoy. You don't have to agree with that, but I do expect you to respect that. Did I just say something wrong there? It sounded kind of weird. Anyway, guys, you get the point. Ashley, I don't think you even saw this video, but if you did, please let me know on Twitter, twitter.com slash David Franco. I really appreciate your support. And Chris Perlow, again, shout out to you for even bringing this to my attention because I cannot stand when I see idiots online thinking they're right, thinking they're the most badass individuals of the world. Well, guys, I hate to break it to you, but you're not. You're this small little speck that nobody really gives a shit about, unless you improve yourself right now. You have plenty of time. Turn your act around. And my phone has gone off. My mom just texted me, the turkey bowls are back at Wawa. Holy shit. I'm going to Wawa. Turkey bowls are back. It's a little early. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. But that's awesome. See you guys. I'm enjoying life. This is Simple Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Post your comments below. And don't forget, if you're going to act like an idiot and post a rude comment below, well, then don't. Leave the video. I encourage positive, critical comments. I appreciate your support. Have an awesome week. And I'll talk to you soon.